What's up guys and girls, welcome to another video. I'm on my way to the UPS store. I think I have a couple packages there to go through. So we're gonna go hit that store and I'll show you what I got. But also, we have a very special guest. I think you might know who it is. He'll be popping into the video in just a little bit, but I'm pretty sure you guys will know who it is when you see him. So stay tuned, let's go see what we got at the post office. I know I shouldn't do that, but sometimes you gotta make your own parking spots at the UPS store. So I got a return to sender. Looks like it might be a Carhartt jacket. Carhartt, ve Carhartt vest. That was sold a long time ago. All right, I'll have to figure out why we got that back. And then let's see what's in here. What do we get? What do we get? Oh, that's a good one. That is a nice one. On the Stanley DeSantis tag, size XL, we've got the Scream 2 movie promo tee. Good, good shirt. Oh, this is disappointing. I always do the dry rot test when I get black tees. This one did not pass the test. Guys, please check your vintage t-shirts for dry rot. All you have to do is give a pull on the seam and if it rips, it is dry rot. <sighs> now I have to take this tea, hit the guy up and try to get a refund. Okay, so good news. I got a refund on the Scream 2 shirt. The seller wasn't really like a vintage seller, so they didn't know. So I did explain to them how to test for dry rot and how to tell if it is dry rot. Um, Stanley DeSantis tags, uh, I've got a bunch of these shirts have been dry rot before, so always test your tees. Always black t-shirts made in the 90s. Just give them a quick tug on the seam just to make sure they're good to go. But I did get a refund for that, and he said I could actually keep the shirt and use it as a giveaway. So I'll be giving this one away soon, probably on our WhatNot channel. So make sure to follow us on our WhatNot and you'll get a shot to win this shirt. Still a nice shirt, still very wearable, just not one that I would wash in the washing machine. I would hand soak it and then hang dry it. All right guys, I promised you a special guest might recognize that face right there. Not that special, but I am a guest. He's what okay. Up? He's okay. Yo, v, yo, <laughs> v Jacob Star. We're actually sitting outside of a thrift store, outside of the Goodwill. Gonna go do what we like to do. Thrift and see if we can find some stuff. So, let's go. He said this Goodwill sucks. So, I did say that. I've um, said that before, though, in this. this it still come out? Huh? It still come out with some heat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see. <laughs> see, sometimes they bring out new racks at the end of the day, though. So, there might be something on that. Let's see. The more you take off there, the less I gotta put away. Yeah, easier, make it easier <laughs> on you. <laughs> How's your day been? Good. Good, I like to hear that. Did you guys go um, northbound on 301 at all? Uh, uh -oh. We came south on 301. North looked okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, north South face. was bad though. Was, know, south is always. South was always, it was yeah. backed up. Like, always. It was bad. That's nice. $7 little north face. Essential? <laughs> I'm gonna start calling everything <laughs> essential. <laughs> exactly. There you go, Jacob. Look at that, bro. Ready for prom. Ready for prom. <laughs> She's awesome. What's up? So, do you sell something like this on eBay normally? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, I, can't even hey. I can't even mention it either. Ooh, a little reprint, but nice side eye on that. Nice. It's a nice giveaway. $5. Yes. I'll grab that. That's cool. Yeah, it's a cool modern. All right, Jacob, what do you think, bro? The stitching is single. I already looked. Oh, did you, modern? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, I used to wear their joggers. For real? That's funny. Yeah. I hate it. Sometimes when I come to tees, like, I'll literally just look at the sleeves. You don't mess with Psycho Bunny? Uh-uh. Five bucks? Come on, bro. Pull something crazy so people can say that it was planted. Yo, that's nice, actually. What year are you? Crazy shirt? Oh, dude, dead stock with the tags. Five bucks. Whalers, baseball team. The big back hit. Crazy shirts. You know about crazy shirts? Yeah. This one's probably what mid nineties. Yeah, single. Seat. I like that. That's cool, dude. I can retire. I hit that. I hit that uh, firecracker run. Nineteen ninety three. I hate when I see this tag and I get excited and then it's this <laughs> so sad jacob's over there trying to get a thumbnail picture but i ended up only buying the two shirts the 
crazy shirt and the Led Zeppelin, which we'll probably give away on whatnot. Uh, so $11, nothing crazy, but I do like the crazy shirt. Oh, I want to show you guys something too. When the lady was checking me out at the cash register, she noticed this, check this out. So this is a different Goodwill's tag and this is their tag. So this shirt came from another Goodwill, didn't sell for six bucks. They get it and they just put another Goodwill tag on it for five. And there you go, it sold to me. You're welcome, Goodwill. So we have another reseller slash YouTuber friend staying with us, or kind of staying with us, he showed up. <laughs> but first time meeting them, super, super, really nice guy, genuine guy, um, Jacob Starr. You might know him, he's a pretty big YouTuber, um, does great thrift videos, a lot of vintage stuff. Anyway, he came into town, we've been hanging out for the past few days, and I ended up buying a, a bundle of shirts from him that he bought from another reseller. So I wanna tell you about that bundle because we're gonna be selling the rest of it today on Whatnot, and then I'll tell you like, how much everything sold for and if we made profit and if the deal was worth it. But this is one of the shirts. There was a lot of really good dead stock stuff in there. So Mickey dead stock size XL, pretty cool one. That Batman up there. This one was also from Jacob. Also dead stock. This one is I think 1995. Also XL, good size on that. And then there's, what else was this? Oh, this Taz. This Taz Falcons 1993, dead stock, with the tag still on it, XL. This Falcons Taz 1991, dead stock, changes tag, XL. This one's cool because it's on a changes tag, but it still has that original price tag of $2.99 on it. Pretty sweet. So it's the Simpsons 1989, I think, on this one, with the family portrait on the back. Say cheese. I love this shirt. Really, really cool. There was also another Taz one that was the same as this but Atlanta Braves, and I sold that for $75. And then there was a Mortal Kombat shirt, which I sold to my friend for $200. I paid uh, $550 for everything, sold the Mortal Kombat shirt for 200, sold the other Taz for 75. So I'm about halfway back to making my money and I'm gonna sell some more of his stuff tonight. So I guess, I thought there was more than that in this show, but I guess there's only the three pieces. Although that Batman might be part of his as well. But um, yeah, so it's kind of cool. Sometimes like deals like this happen where it goes from one person to the next person to the next person and everybody can still make a little bit of money. You know, now it's at the end now where these shirts are probably gonna go to collectors, not to other resellers where they're gonna be reselling their shirts. But that happens a lot where people make a little bit of money along the way and we can still buy wholesale from another reseller and make money. Hopefully make money, I'll let you know after we sell them on whatnot. 2001 DBZ tag, size large. Laptop the same coming through your head right now. Why, what's happening? You said y'all the same height. Hey, I'm come on, back to back. <laughs> Actually, yeah, we got it. <laughs> the purple haired queen. And she's strapped up with the little cricket. Fighting mouse, all over prints, 1991. Holy size large, single stitch, top and bottom. We're at 46 bucks. Show this one some love, let's go. So quick breakdown here, we paid $550 for the whole lot. Like I said, I sold the Mortal Kombat for $200. The Taz Braves sold for $75. The Simpson shirt went for $55. The other Taz, $54. The Mickey, $28. The Taz, $91, $70. The Batman, $41. $550 paid, and I got $526 back. And you have three I got tees? three twos left. I got the uh, Orange Crush, the Harley, and the Stones. So yeah, nice. Cool. I'll make I'll make like 150 probably something like that. Woo! Snow. <laughs> Obviously, we're not in Florida anymore. We are in very snowy upstate New York. Uh, we're traveling. We're traveling all around upstate New York, Buffalo, Rochester area. Uh, we're going to little like small town thrift stores and sourcing. That's going to be an upcoming video series for us. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, but as far as this video goes, I just want to say really quick, Jacob Starr, amazing person, really nice guy. It's kind of like you don't really know what to expect when it comes to meeting other YouTubers, especially like in our, in our space, in the reselling vintage type space. You never really know what to expect. He was a really awesome person. So definitely go check out his channel. Um, and then as far as this video goes, the theme of today's video was I sold Jacob Star a $1,500 tee. If you wanna see that full video, 
he actually made like a really cool ride along type video and in there you can see the whole t-shirt it is a vintage exorcist tee he bought it during our whatnot live show it's a pretty crazy shirt um, but he paid he actually paid fourteen hundred and fifty dollars for it so not quite fifteen hundred dollars but yeah pretty <laughs> pretty crazy t-shirt but overall it was a really cool week um, this last week for us was actually hectic because we had a bunch of friends in town a bunch of people staying with us and then we had one day to kind of get our stuff together and then we flew out to sunny upstate new york <laughs> for those of you who don't know ali ali's mom actually bought a house out here which i'm staring at right now it's a beautiful house brick house and we're going to do a full tour of the house and show you guys everything. And again, we've already found some amazing stuff up here. So be sure to subscribe. And please, if you like today's video, hit the thumbs up button and we'll see you on the next one. Later guys and girls, bye. Snow, look at all the snow. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm having way too much fun out here. Way too much fun out here.